comfortably above 49,000, the Nifty around 22,750 record levels. What are the dealing rooms saying? As always, let's go, out, go to our favorite segment, D Street Chatter. Nimesh is waiting by with all the insight there, Nimesh. Hi, Bangla. Well, we're used to record highs, right? And again, now today, the good part is uh, it's backed by some, some big momentum in the broader market stocks as well. Uh, again, you know, uh, today, today there is a bit of change in terms of flows as well. I understand there is a small uh, MOC basket buying largely into mid-cap names and that, that probably explains a bit of move in the, in the mid-cap stocks as well. The mid-cap index is up 1% but a lot of individual stocks are up 8-10%. So big move in, in that space. Uh, the PSUs continue to outperform within the sectors and within the PSUs. Uh, while, while the metal stocks has seen a dream run in this series, OMC is just a small drop in the crude prices and have seen a big reaction to the OMCs as well in today's market. I guess today's rally is also to do a bit of short covering as well. Uh, you know, in, in many of the sectors and stocks, so that, is, that just explains a bit of moves. Again, you know, it's not a very sector specific. There are a lot of sectors which are buzzing in trade today and, and some moves are unexplained as well. So, uh, like, you know, the entire, uh, for example, the chemical names, all are buzzing in trade, but uh, the expectation of quarter four is going to be quite soft. So, that's something to track. I guess uh, all eyes will be on the TCS numbers on Friday, but uh, before the TCS numbers, we saw a big upgrade on uh, Infosys yesterday and there is cash based buying as well from larger FIs in select technology stocks in today's market. So, a uh, big move uh, largely in the broader markets, but it's backed by FI buying as well. That's the broad sense. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, Broad-based, cash based bu uh, cash buying in a lot of these IT names ahead of TCS numbers on Friday. Nimesh, uh, other individual stock tidbits that you picked up? Well, you know, uh, the entire real estate stock, uh, real estate space has been buzzing off late, but Anantaraj has been consolidating. Uh, uh, but uh, there were multiple block, uh, block trades today. I understand the domestic mutual funds were buyer in today's block. Interestingly, I understand uh, th there are multiple, uh, you know, sell center analysts who are visiting the company for their uh, data center as well. So that's 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 one stock uh, on my radar today. The second name is IEX. Uh, within the power names, this is one stock which is relatively underperformed, but looks like some bit of buying seems to be back. Uh, the, 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 there is going to be delivery based buying as well, is what I understand. And it's a it's a pure play on on the on the power deficit, uh, which is which is going to last for the next couple of months. So IEX stands out largely on back of that. The third name is Vodafone Idea. It's been uh, the talk of the talk of the town. A lot of people are reporting as well. Uh, the stock is in FNO band, so the activity has to be in the cash market. For the last few days, I understand a US-based hedge fund is an ag aggressive buyer in the cash market in Vodafone Idea. All as will be the FPO, which is likely to get filed uh, this week, so FPO can open next week. But I understand the demand is quite strong in the FPO as well. So both institutional investors, FIs as well as uh, domestic uh, HNIs, are likely to participate in the FPO. So. That's something to track, which will have an impact on Indus Tower as well. So both those stocks will be in focus next week. And the last name is HDFC AMC. We saw uh, the uh, mutual fund data today, but in general, at these levels at record highs, some bit of profit booking is visible in HDFC AMC. And there are sell flows from leading FIs today in that particular name. All right. Uh, in, in, uh, sort of good intel, uh, Nimesh, is always good list. Thanks very much. We'll keep uh, an eye on some of these names.